Voyager, the Odyssey of Our Interstellar Pioneers. In 1977, NASA embarked on one of the most ambitious space missions ever attempted. Two spacecraft, each roughly the size of a Honda Civic, were carefully loaded onto a single rocket and set on a five-year mission to explore the outer planets of our solar system. These twin spacecraft, later known as Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, would become humanity's emissaries into the far reaches of space, unraveling secrets about planets, moons, and the very edge of our solar neighborhood. A rare alignment and a grand opportunity. The seeds of this audacious mission were sown during a rare cosmic event. In the late 1970s, the solar system experienced an extraordinary planetary alignment, an arrangement that occurs only once every 175 years, where the gas giants Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune lined up on one side of the Sun. This alignment created an unparalleled opportunity for scientists to study these distant worlds using a single mission. Seizing the moment, NASA launched Voyager 2 on August 20, 1977, followed shortly by Voyager 1 on September 5, 1977. Despite launching nearly two weeks later, Voyager 1 was designed to travel on a faster trajectory. As a result, it quickly overtook Voyager 2, reaching speeds of about 38,000 miles per hour compared to Voyager 2's 34,360 miles per hour. This extra burst of velocity allowed Voyager 1 to capture one of the mission's earliest iconic moments. Just 13 days after its launch, the spacecraft snapped a historic image of Earth and its moon from a staggering distance of 7.2 million miles, a powerful symbol marking the beginning of its epic journey through space. The early triumphs, Jupiter and its mysteries. Voyager's journey through the outer solar system was filled with groundbreaking discoveries that forever changed our understanding of the planets. Both spacecraft made their way to Jupiter, arriving in 1979. As they approached the giant planet, they provided humanity with our first close-up views of its swirling atmosphere and its complex system of rings. Among their many findings, the Voyagers uncovered three previously unknown moons orbiting Jupiter. One of the most significant discoveries was that of Ganymede. Prior to Voyager's arrival, Saturn's Titan was considered the largest moon in the solar system, however, data from Jupiter revealed that Ganymede is even larger, shattering previous assumptions. Additionally, the probes delivered unprecedented images of Europa, whose smooth, ice-covered surface is marked by intriguing cracks. These observations have since sparked scientific theories suggesting the existence of a hidden, subsurface ocean, an idea that continues to drive further exploration and study. Another highlight of the Jupiter encounter was the first detailed observation of the Great Red Spot, a massive, centuries-old storm larger than the entire Earth. This swirling vortex, a defining characteristic of the gas giant, offered scientists a glimpse into the complex atmospheric dynamics of Jupiter, setting the stage for more ambitious discoveries later in the mission. Saturn, a turning point in the Voyager mission. After the success at Jupiter, the Voyagers set their sights on Saturn. The approach to Saturn marked a pivotal phase in the mission. Initially, NASA's plan was to explore only Jupiter and Saturn over a four-year period, but the trajectories were designed with the possibility of extending the mission to include further planetary encounters. For Voyager 1, a critical maneuver came with its close encounter with Titan, the only moon in the solar system with a thick, dense atmosphere. Titan's mysterious, opaque atmosphere concealed its surface from optical instruments, preventing scientists from uncovering its secrets immediately. However, the spacecraft's flyby provided tantalizing clues about Titan's environment. The data indicated that Titan's temperature was near the triple point of methane, a state where this compound behaves similarly to water on Earth, offering hints about possible exotic meteorological processes taking place on this distant world. Saturn itself was revealed to be a world of breathtaking beauty. Detailed images of the planet's rings showed that they are composed of hundreds of finely structured, narrow bands. In addition to mapping the intricate rings, the Voyagers identified four new moons orbiting Saturn. Among these, Mimas drew particular attention due to the enormous Herschel crater that gave it an uncanny resemblance to the iconic Death Star from science fiction lore. Diverging paths, Voyager 2's exploration of the ice giants. While Voyager 1's course was dramatically altered by the gravity of Saturn, redirecting it on a path that would eventually lead out of the solar system, Voyager 2 was set on a trajectory that would take it even deeper into uncharted territory. After its Saturn encounter, Voyager 2 ventured towards Uranus, arriving in January 1986. This encounter brought to light a planet that was strikingly different from both Jupiter and Saturn. Uranus presented a surprising composition, while the gas giants are largely made up of hydrogen and helium, Uranus was found to harbor these elements only in its outer atmosphere. Beneath that tenuous layer lay a complex interior composed of water, ammonia, methane, and hydrogen sulfide, with a solid core of rock and ice. 
the discovery of these unique characteristics led scientists to classify Uranus, and later Neptune, as ice giants, a distinct category that has since deepened our understanding of planetary formation and evolution. Voyager 2's journey did not stop with Uranus. Its final major planetary target was Neptune, the eighth and farthest planet in our solar system. In August 1989, Voyager 2 became the only spacecraft to fly by Neptune, capturing the first detailed images of this distant world. Although Neptune appeared a vivid blue in the photographs, subsequent data analysis revealed that its true color is closer to a teal hue. The flyby of Neptune completed Voyager 2's grand tour of the solar system's outer planets, leaving behind a legacy of detailed maps, spectral analyses, and countless mysteries yet to be fully understood. Venturing into the unknown, entering interstellar space. After completing their historic flybys of the gas and ice giants, the voyagers continued their journeys outward, eventually reaching the boundaries of the sun's influence. For more than a decade and a half, the spacecraft drifted in a region of relative calm before an extraordinary event on August 25, 2012, signaled a dramatic transition for Voyager 1. The spacecraft's instruments detected a sudden drop in the charged particles originating from the sun, coupled with a significant increase in the levels of galactic cosmic rays, high-energy particles from beyond our solar system. This indicated that Voyager 1 had passed the heliopause, the outer edge of the solar wind's domain, and had entered interstellar space. Voyager 2 would follow suit by crossing this boundary in November 2018. The heliopause is the point where the sun's solar wind is no longer dominant, giving way to the interstellar medium, a space filled with particles and magnetic fields from the galaxy at large. In essence, these milestones signified that the voyagers had ventured beyond the protective bubble of our solar system, entering a realm where the influences of the sun are minimal and the vastness of the Milky Way begins in earnest. The challenges of maintaining communication. Even as the spacecraft traveled billions of miles from Earth, they continued to relay vital scientific data. However, the journey has not been without its challenges. On November 14, 2023, Voyager 1, the farthest human-made object from Earth, suddenly fell silent. For several months, the spacecraft transmitted only a continuous stream of seemingly meaningless binary data. This unexpected interruption sent shockwaves through the scientific community, as experts feared that the aging probe might have been irretrievably lost. The root cause of the communication breakdown was later traced to a memory failure in the onboard flight data system, FDS, threatening permanent loss of contact with the spacecraft. Yet, rather than abandon hope, a dedicated team of scientists and engineers rallied to resolve the issue. They opted for an audacious strategy, to reallocate the spacecraft's computer code to different sections of its limited memory, thereby bypassing the malfunctioning components. This risky process began on April 18, 2024. Given that signals take approximately 22.5 hours to travel one way between Earth and Voyager 1, every command and response was a nerve-wracking test of patience and precision. After several attempts and months of meticulous work, the team finally succeeded, and Voyager 1 resumed transmitting intelligible data. This triumphant reconnect ion underscored both the resilience of the spacecraft and the ingenuity of the engineers who continue to extend its operational life. A closer look at the scientific discoveries. Throughout its journey, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 have provided humanity with an unprecedented window into the workings of the solar system. The observations from Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune have not only enriched our understanding of these celestial bodies but have also raised profound questions about the nature of our own planet and our place in the cosmos. One of the enduring legacies of the Voyager missions is the iconic pale blue dot image captured by Voyager 1 on February 14, 1990. From a distance of 3.72 billion miles, Earth appeared as a tiny, almost imperceptible dot, just 0.12 pixels in size, floating in the vast darkness of space. This image has come to symbolize the fragility and isolation of our home planet, inspiring both or an introspection about the nature of existence in an expansive universe. The detailed study of Saturn's rings and moons, the discovery of complex weather systems on Jupiter, and the novel insights into the composition of the ice giants have all contributed to a richer picture of the solar system's diversity. Moreover, the data returned by the voyagers have had far-reaching implications. For instance, the unexpected behavior of the solar wind at the heliopause has reshaped scientific models of how the sun's influence fades into interstellar space. Instead of a gradual dissipation, the solar wind appears to encounter a sharp boundary where its force suddenly ceases, allowing the galactic environment to assert its presence. This boundary, the heliopause, marks the end of the heliosphere, a vast bubble carved out by the solar wind that extends roughly 11 billion miles from the sun. 
Beyond this bubble lies the interstellar medium, where charged particles and magnetic fields interact in ways that are only beginning to be understood. Data from the voyages have shown that the interstellar magnetic field is two to three times stronger than scientists had anticipated, meaning that cosmic rays and other high-energy particles exert far more pressure on the heliosphere than previously thought. These findings are not only crucial for understanding our own solar system but also provide insights into the behavior of stars and planetary systems throughout the galaxy. The Enigma of Voyager's Mysterious Signals Over the decades, the Voyager spacecraft have occasionally transmitted signals that have baffled scientists. In 2022, for example, Voyager 1 unexpectedly began sending out a puzzling sequence of data. At a distance of roughly 14.6 billion miles from Earth, the spacecraft transmitted a series of numbers, primarily zeros or the recurring number 377. Initially, this anomaly raised fears that the sequence might carry critical navigational or operational information, or worse, that it indicated a deeper malfunction within the probe systems. Subsequent investigations revealed that the erratic data were linked to issues in the spacecraft's altitude control and maneuvering system. Cosmic rays, which continuously bombard the probe's aging electronic components, likely contributed to this loss of precise positional awareness. Engineers eventually managed to regain control by redirecting telemetry through an alternate onboard computer, successfully re-establishing the spacecraft's navigational functions. These unexpected episodes, whether it was the mysterious 377 sequence or the lengthy communication blackout in late 2023, serve as a stark reminder of the technical challenges inherent in operating machinery that was built over four decades ago, now traveling billions of miles from Earth. Engineering feats far from home. Maintaining contact with the Voyager spacecraft is a formidable task. Their immense distance from Earth, Voyager 1 is now approximately 15.5 billion miles away while Voyager 2 is about 12.4 billion miles distant, means that each message exchange takes nearly a full Earth day to complete a round trip. Despite these challenges, teams at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, and other research centers continue to demonstrate remarkable ingenuity. One such engineer, Bob Rasmussen, who originally worked on the Voyager mission and came out of retirement in 2022, has been instrumental in troubleshooting and rectifying issues with Voyager 1's memory chip. When the probe began transmitting only indecipherable data due to a corrupted chip, Rasmussen and his colleagues methodically tested various parts of the spacecraft system by sending carefully crafted signals and patiently waiting for responses. Their meticulous approach paid off in April 2024, when the team confirmed that Voyager 1 was once again sending back usable data. The fact that engineers can still communicate with, and even repair, a spacecraft operating on technology from the 1970s is a testament to both the robustness of the original design and the persistence of today's scientists. Into the final frontier, the heliosphere and beyond. Once the Voyager probes left the familiar confines of the solar system, they entered a realm that is as scientifically intriguing as it is mysterious, interstellar space. The boundary between the heliosphere and interstellar space, known as the heliopause, was once thought to be a gradual transition. However, data from Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 revealed that the change is abrupt. The solar wind, which flows outward from the sun and envelops our planetary system, does not simply fade away, instead, it encounters a defined boundary where its influence is overtaken by the interstellar medium. Within this vast expanse, the solar wind is deflected around the heliopause, while interstellar plasma and cosmic rays impinge on the bubble from outside. Detailed measurements have shown that the density of charged particles changes dramatically at this boundary. Inside the heliosphere, the solar wind has a relatively high density, while outside, in the near vacuum of interstellar space, the density is much lower. Yet, even in these near-vacuum conditions, Voyager 2's instruments detected particle densities that almost matched theoretical predictions, revealing subtle variations that continue to puzzle scientists. 